So we're here. We're back. Michael Shank Racing, 54th Rolex we're going to be a part of. My teammates, we know John Pugh, Oswaldo Negri, our newest teammate, Olivier Pla. So let's get the, get the racing stuff out just right now. We'll get done with it. John, what do you think of the car? I got to drive it once last year. You've been driving it all year. How's it feel? Made a lot of progress with the car. It's really good, really fast, comfortable to drive. I think we've got a good chance of winning another watch, so I'm really looking forward to the race. I like that attitude. Oswaldo, you guys had some podiums last year, really close to winning a couple of races. So uh, going into this offseason, what were some of the big changes that, that you guys made to make me happier in the car? Because that's really that all that matters. Oh, we were thinking about you all year long because we, we knew we were going to get together again. So, uh, yeah, we, we made a bunch of uh, change to the car and to the drivability of the engine. It's, it's a lot better. Um, you know, uh, I think we are really looking strong. Okay. Olivier, we just met. You've done pretty much all the development work with this Ligier and with Honda. So knowing all the different backgrounds that you've had of, of all the circuits that you've driven on and, and all the work that you put into this race car, what are the biggest differences that you see from where this car started to, to where we've gotten the car now? Well, obviously it's a little bit different because I was especially doing the, the, the test with uh, the WEC car, so with the different tires, less, less, less uh, horsepower. But uh, actually it was the first time that I was driving the car with, with uh, that engine, with the Honda engine, and uh, from the beginning it felt pretty good. So um, oh, all in all, it was, uh, it was uh, really good to, to be there and uh, with a uh, with new team, a new teammate, looking forward to it. As you guys can tell, he's, uh, he's not from Florida. He's, uh, honestly, he's from Maine, so it's kind of tough to understand his language and his accent, but we're getting used to it. But now the real big hitting questions. Mr. Pugh, we just recently ate dinner and uh, a couple nights ago, and I noticed you, you like your meat raw, like really raw. Is that kind of, uh, is that how you like your meat or your ladies or in general? I mean, like what is, what is the go-to for, for the way you generally like your meat? I like it raw. What can I say? <laughs> I love it. I love it just dripping in blood and juice. Oswaldo, I find, I mean, we've been doing this for almost 11 years together on this team. I find you get sexier every year. Do you, uh, do you use like some kind of anti-aging cream? Does it come from your wife, your daughters? How do you find a way each year? Because every year I'm like, it's not possible. But every year it's like, dang, he's more sexy. How, how do you do this? <laughs> we, can't, we can't use that type of language on, on camera, man. Okay, this is, there's kids watching. Oh, it's all the love I get from, uh, you know, the Shank team all through the year. And uh, it keeps uh, rejuvenating my skin and, uh, you know, my muscles. But my hair is still not the same. Got a lot of uh, gray hair now. I've noticed you didn't have that much gray hair. And as soon as I show up to Daytona with you, you seem to get a lot grayer. That, that has nothing to do with me. Absolutely not. I actually... Yeah. <laughs> Being from Maine or France, either one, whichever one you want to be from, I used to battle with, uh, with a guy that was kind of in that country. His name was Sebastian Bourdais. Back in that time of Champ Car, when I was throwing it down on him in 2006, were you rooting for him or me? <laughs> Actually, I was looking uh, every race, so I could see your, your fight with Sebastian. And, um, voila, you know. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> uh, or do, do what my, my girlfriend does to me, lie, either one. Tell me you like me. I was for Paul Tracy. Wow. I feel like that'll get you kicked out of your country, won't it? <laughs> Pretty sure that will, uh, that'll get you, get you out. Well, guys, this was a hard-hitting question that I was really looking forward to asking my new teammates. Olivier, we're, we're happy to have you. John and, and Oz. Here we do this again, you know? We need, to, uh, we need a second watch. We need to do it for the big man upstairs, Jay Will. We miss him. And hopefully, uh, this is just the start of something beautiful. 
You want me to sing? We've only just begun. I don't know the rest of the words to the song. We've just begun. Cut. We're done.